state cabinet will tomorrow tackle the difficult task of replacing anti-bikey laws without easing up on crime gangs. For the former Premier, Campbell Newman, the issue is too provocative to stay quiet. He's stepped up his attack on the Speaker, Peter Wellington, who's an outspoken critic of the LNP laws. He's theoretically out of politics, but for one of his government's signature policies, Campbell Newman won't stay on the sidelines. And he's never seen eye to eye with Peter Wellington, who once stood up for a bikey arrested under the vicious lawless association legislation. The man has since been convicted of drugs offences. Mr Newman says he warned Mr Wellington against an error of judgement. It's a very bad look. It's such a bad look that really his position as Speaker of the Queensland Parliament is now untenable. He should resign. At the very least, he wants Mr Wellington to stay out of it when Parliament votes on repealing or replacing the criminal gang laws. The Premier cannot accept his vote. It's a massive conflict of interest. His vote is tainted and he must remove himself from any such consideration uh, in Parliament. The current opposition is also critical of Mr Wellington, but not going as far as demanding his resignation, like their former leader has. Well, he's a private citizen and he's a typical Queenslander who wants these laws to be kept. Mr Wellington has left his comments to Facebook where he described the LNP's Vlad laws as madness by a government drunk with power. The Premier won't bite either. Campbell Newman was uh, a former Premier that the people of Queensland voted out. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not playing commentary about what Campbell Newman says. The government tomorrow will release its interim response to a review of the bikey laws. It's unlikely to simply repeal them and rely on previous crime-fighting legislation. Instead, Ms Palaszczuk is talking about strengthening the controversial measures while also satisfying the concerns of civil libertarians. And what I want my Cabinet to consider is tough legislation that covers the full ambit of serious organised crime in this state. The laws have been upheld by the highest court in the land. There is no need for uh, Premier Palaszczuk to muck around with these laws. The formal debate is just getting started. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.